Uh, Jeff, uh, cautious congratulations. Hopefully, if uh, it all goes well, you'll make your 50th appearance. What would you think about that? For your 50 caps for your country? Yeah, it'd be brilliant. Uh, you know, <coughs> I always say, like as a as a kid, my dream was to, you know, put on the Ireland jersey and. and and play for my country, and uh, you know, like you said, all going well. Hopefully, I can I can get to fifty. It's the, it is a big thing to me and, and to my family. Yeah. Do you remember the first? Yeah, Poland at home. Uh, was, I didn't know if I was going to play or, or get on, and, and it was brilliant to have it have the game in Dublin. I think I had to order thirty tickets that game, um, but it was good to have all my family there and and get some time on the pitch. So as a kid, who did you look at and think, uh, I want to be like him? Uh, I think there's lots of players growing up and, you know, when you're out in the park playing, uh, you, you are all reeling off different different players, different names. It's it's more players from the club teams you, you liked as a kid. But, uh, you know, I remember the first game I went to with Ireland when we, when we beat Holland uh, and Lansdowne Road. So... Okay, it could have been any of them players, really. As a kid watching, was that your sort of golden memory then, the Holland game, or were there others that stick in your mind? Yeah, well, that that was obviously a massive game, uh, you know, to go to go and watch for me first. Um, then the World Cup, uh, that was that was brilliant for me as a kid. I think I was ten, and I just remember the build up to all the games, and um, you know, that was a special time. And how would you sum up your career internationally so far? Yeah, the, you know, I think I've enjoyed it. Um, like you said, to play nearly 50 times for your country's been brilliant. Um, you know, it has been tough as well at times. Uh, you know, we've had some not so good games, um, but I, tr I try and remember all the, the positives from each game and, um, you know, the results that we've gotten, and there has been some very memorable ones. David, it's quite an achievement, isn't it, to, to hit 50 caps for your country? Yeah, you know, um, I'm not going to congratulate him because he'll get a big head, but, you know, it's a great achievement uh, from a great player and I think uh, he's still quite young. I think he's going to get, he could get another 50, you know, um, the way he plays and, you know, it's really important uh, to the team. So, yeah, it's, it's a great achievement for him. And from your point of view, how much are you taking the positivity of Sheffield United's start to the season into this camp? Yeah, we've had a, a good start, you know. Um, not many of our, the players in the team have played Premier League football b before. And, um, you know, we've, we've done all right. You know, we've, we've got a win, we've got a couple of draws. Obviously, from the weekend, going 2-0 down at Stamford Bridge to come back and, and draw 2-2, that gave us massive confidence boost. Um, you know, that we can mix it with the big boys, because they are the big boys. And, you know, we were in League One two, three years ago, so... You know, we've grown great confidence. We've got some tough games when we go back, but I think every game in the Premier League is is tough. You know, we've seen the difference of the standards from the Championship to the, the Premier League. Um, but hopefully, you know, I can bring in um, the confidence and, and the good feeling that I've got down there into the camp. There's quite an Irish contingent, isn't there, at Bramall Lane at the moment? <laughs> yeah, there is. Yeah, we brought in uh, the whiz kid Callum down to her place. You know, he's a great bubbly guy to have around. Uh, just in, in any dressing room and he's come obviously he's one of the Irish boys and we've got Ender and John who are playing every week doing really really well so you know it's, it's, it's great times at the moment and you and Callum seem to develop a, a, a relationship at club level and, and hopefully at international level as well yeah, Callum's a good player um, you know he played he started the last game against Gibraltar and done really well um, nearly scored and, and he's come down and, and he's done really well again you know he's a He's a bright footballer, so he's easy to play with. You know, he's, he's got good feet. Uh, he's got a good football brain. Not off the pitch, he's a bit of a dope, but <laughs> on the pitch, yeah, he, he's got a football brain, so he can play. So that helps out, helps out any footballer. So yeah, it's not going well. And that's her things, Jeff. Again, cautious congrats on your 50th cap. Um, you. You're Ireland's probably form players, best players at the Euros three years ago. How would you assess your form since then in an Irish jersey? Yeah, I, I said this before. Um, you know, I, I hear the outside noise and uh, you know people saying they haven't haven't seen me since the Euros. Uh, you know, everyone has their own opinion. Uh, but I did play a lot of games, not in the position I played in in, in the Euros, uh, 
And for me, obviously, I, I try and give everything for the country, but it's difficult when you're, you're playing in a, a different position to what you're, you're naturally good at, I'd say. Um, but, but, you know, I, I tried to do my best for the team. But uh, like I said, it was, it was tough when, you know, I was playing on the right. At times, I was nearly up front and all. So uh, I was just trying to adapt and, and, like I said, just do what I can for the team. And have you chatted to Mick about getting your best position on, on, on the field? Uh, the manager said it to me when I came in. He, he said, "I know you're a, a centre midfielder, and uh, so I've played there. I've played there in the games uh, under him in training and all, and, and I'm enjoying it. Um, you know, that's where I want to be. And so he's, he's playing me there, yeah. Because one of the first things Mick said when he took the job was that he wanted to see more goals from the midfielders. Did he put special emphasis on you? Did he have a chat with you in terms of getting more goals out of the midfield? Yeah, he did. TC as well, uh, Robbie." They, they know I'm a, a type of player that wants to play in the middle and, and get on the ball, but um, you know, with the attributes I have, I, the size of me, I, I should be getting into the box and getting on the end of things, and and that's something we've been working on in training. And obviously, I, I got the goal in the first game, but in a few others, George at home, I was, I was breaking into the box as well. Um, you know, the sloppy pass, and I could have set him up for a goal as well. So, uh, you know, these things happen. Yeah, I think there's more to come from you in this in this campaign. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just eager to play games, and you know, we're in a good position in the group now. Uh, we've got a lot of big games left, but we're all excited for the for the challenge. David, you've got a good run of games recently in a green shirt. Is this your best form so far for us? Yeah, most definitely. <clears throat> you know, I think the first bit of st start stop uh, injuries uh, form, uh, and obviously the past year. Uh, I think I've started most games under oh, all the games under uh, Mick. So yeah, it's a good confidence boost for myself and um, to play every game. You know, goals would be nice to go with it. I'm sure they will come. Um, but yeah, playing and, and, and playing well, it's going well. Why is it you think you didn't get more game time under the previous management? I know you said form and, and injuries, mm. but you were cold as well from a couple of, a couple of squads. <laughs> yeah, that's. I just said it before. It's just. Literally football, you know. I think at the time I was at Ipswich, and I wasn't scoring. You know, I wasn't uh, playing well. I had injuries coming back, and at the time there were strikers that was doing that for Ireland, and I wasn't getting called up. And no hard feeling about it. It's kind of driven me on. You know, when I was at contract last season, you know, my aim was to to get a championship club at the time and get back into the into the international setup, and I, I've done that now, and, and now I want to kick on and and make sure I stayed at number nine. Yeah, you mentioned uh, Callum Wilson, or Callum Robinson there, I should say, a little earlier. Is that, is that a boost for you to have someone playing with your club and also in a, at international level? You obviously want him to, to start the next day, won't you? Yeah, you know, um, it's nice now training with him every day at club level, you know, uh, knowing the things that he does, little movements he likes doing. We worked a lot in pre-season together, so, you know, if we do play uh, together at international level, I think that can only bode well um, for the country. Find it for me. You obviously just said there you want to see more goals. Are, are, are goals your priority now in this in this campaign? Will the goals come for you? First and foremost, qualifying is most important. You know, as a team, I'm that kind of a player. But obviously, every striker is judged on goals. Wants to score goals. You know, I want to score goals every day in training and in games. And um, you know, when it hit the post and bounced out against Gibraltar, I just thought, oh, f, f sake. You know what I mean? But it's coming. They're coming. You know, I'm getting chances. Um, that's the main thing. Um, each game, I think I've had a couple of chances, so one will go in, and then hopefully, you know, the rest will follow. Cheers. Jeff, can I just ask you, uh, how concerned are you by not getting in at Burnley at the moment? Uh, not really concerned. Uh, you know, it's still early in the season, and you had the full pre-season. I probably played the most minutes out of our whole Burnley squad in pre-season. I was playing in every game, uh, which was really good for me. Uh, you know, but obviously the lads who he, he stuck with the lads who started the end of last season and done really well and, and kept us in the league pretty much. So, you know, he's, he's shown faith in them. Um, you know, they've got off to a good start as well. Uh, but I'm fine. Obviously, I've been working hard. I'm, I'm doing extra, the extras every day, just trying to get in the manager's eye there to, you know, get back into the team. But 
Um, you know, then last two weeks I, I played the full 90 in the cup. I've, I played a, a resi game at the training ground, just getting all them minutes into me and, and making sure I'm right down for the games here because, you know, as the weeks go by and the, the international games are coming up, it's that was the thing that's in my mind, make, making sure I'm, I'm ready for this. Yeah, because Mick has said you have to be, he wants players to be playing regularly in order to get them into the squads, first of all, and into the team then. Yeah, I mean you've got the, the the double header next month as well, which is something. I mean, how concerned would you be if you weren't getting back in in, in the Burnley team? Yeah, I, I don't want to be looking too far ahead there. I still have two games in this camp, um, you know, and, and hopefully uh, I can play in both games, and then, you know, I go back to club level, and and then I have to assess where I'm at and 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 how I'm doing fitness wise. But like I said, at the moment I'm I'm feeling really fit and, and rearing to go. Um, so that's all I can think about now. You mentioned the the Holland game as one of your childhood highlights. It, it's going to take probably a, a performance. It's going to be a result almost as big as that for us to overturn the Swiss, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be tough. You know, we've watched them. They, they're a good team. They've got good players. Um, they move the ball well. But you know, they're they're coming here to play us, and um, you know, we've been we've done really well here recently. So. We want to keep that going and, and, and play our game as much as we need to, to stop them with their strengths. We we need to you know do what we're good at. And David, when you heard that Shakiri wasn't going to be involved with Switzerland, how did you feel? Yeah, I was buzzing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's a good player, isn't he? He's one of them names uh, that you look out for. And when I heard the news, he weren't playing. Yeah, I was buzzing. There's no, no two doubts about it. So you're hoping to uh, get on the score sheet then on Thursday night. Every game I'm looking to get on a goal sheet, but yeah, if it comes, I'll take the win in front of a, a goal, most definitely, yeah. Really good luck to you. Thank you. Hey, David, that chemistry that you're striking with Callum at club level, what can, if you're both picked on Thursday night, what, what can that do for the Irish team? I think it could have been a bit of everything. Um, you know, different strikers as it is these days, you know, comfortable with the ball at our feet, and we can stretch it as well. Um, I think... If we can, if we do play together, if we do play on the same pitch, I'm not sure what formations. You know, um, we have struck a little bond, and like I say, hopefully we can bring that from that club form into the national setup. Yeah. And in what kind of formation do you like playing with Cat in with Callum alongside you? Like, do you think it has to be too up top, or would one of you be comfortable coming in from maybe the wide of a front three or something like that? Yeah, I think. Um, I've played different positions. I've played, um, you know, the last 10 minutes at Stamford Bridge, I was in a midfield three. On, um, on Saturday, I played 10, I played nine. You know, Callum, in his Preston days, he was wide of a three. He's played, I think, we're all flexible to play different positions, you know. There's other strikers here and that might play as well also, so I don't know what's going to happen, but I think, um, you yeah, know, we're very flexible. We can play different positions if needed. Uh, and just to kind of reflect on a, on a wider point that it was like it's not that long ago since you left Ipswich and you had to go on trial to prove your worth at Sheffield United. Mm. Can you quite believe that you're in the Premier League already, or did you always back yourself that this had happened? Uh, if I'm honest, you know, a year ago looking at it when the phone wasn't ringing, you know, I think playing the Premier League would have been quite a long fetch away to, to look at. But you always got to have confidence in myself. I was always confident that if I once I get myself sorted. Uh, that I can go on and hit some form, and I did that. And I'm here now, you know, and I'm, I'm thankful for it. And that's why I don't want to stop now. You know, getting back into the island setup, being a Premier League player, you know, I don't want it to stop now. I want it to, to continue because this is what I've been aiming for in my career. Was there really like a period in which you were sitting waiting for the phone to ring and it, and it wasn't? And how long was that then? Yeah, that was um, last May, June. Uh, um, it wasn't ringing. A uh, few clubs said, yeah, maybe. Um, I was thinking what's going to happen and then Sheffield came with a bit of interest and I pushed the interest and went down there um, and after a day or two they said they wanted to sign me but the main clubs were worried about my injury records and things like that. I just proved to them that I was fine and it, um, well, the rest is history, shall I say. Yeah. Well, cheers, good luck on Thursday. Thank you. Jeff, the, the day you made your Ireland debut, could you visit... Could you envisage then by this point you would be in a position to win a 50th cap because it's coming a relatively short space of time? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I was just excited back then, um, you know, to, to get into the squad. Um, and I was just hoping to try and, and build as many caps as possible. Um, you know, the force probably 
year year or so in the in the Ireland camp um, as as more just a squad player. Um, but, I was looking towards the friendlies, really, to just even get some game time, um, because I, th I think they were on the back of just finishing off the the Euros group, and a lot of the uh, the older lads were in, and you know he was playing them. Um, but then once I got in the team and I started playing, um, I was enjoying it, and I, I just wanted to keep playing every game, and, and yeah, that I've got the 50. It's well near enough 50, but. It's, Flew in, yeah. And um, what would be the highlight? Is there a single game that stands out for you? It's hard not to, to look at the Euros, obviously for the for the occasion. Uh, but we enjoyed the game against England at Wembley away. Um, that was good. The atmosphere was good. Uh, there's many in there. Um, obviously the Germany at home and for the for the result. But uh, I, I'd have to say the Euros, yeah. And David, can I just ask, do you think Sheffield United have surprised a few people in the first few games of the season? Yeah, um, I think we have, and I still think we're getting our critics, you know. I seen Garth Crooks talking the other day, saying that we're down and we're rubbish, you ain't seen nothing, you know. I ain't got a clue what he took that morning, but he needs to think that we're not, we're not ordinary, we play a different way, a different style, and... Um, uh, I think we've come with the same philosophy that we've used from the Championship and I think we need to get a bit of respect for that. We haven't changed for no one and we've got a few results and listen, it's going to be a long season. We're going to have ups and downs. There's going to be games where we get beat and we walk off the pitch and we've just got to hold our hands up. But I think, you know, we've at home we can give teams a lot of problems and um, I think we'll see that throughout the season. Do you think Ireland, Ireland almost have a similar philosophy because you seem to be at your best when people are giving you no chance or little chance and you... you like stubborn in that respect as a team. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a bit underdogs, isn't it? Kind of thing, you know. We've been doing that um, at club level and a, a little bit through this uh, international camp, but I think the, the players we've got international camp, you know, there's no reason for us to do that, you know. Look at this guy next to me not playing for his team, but, you know, he's one of the best players I've played with, so that shows a lot about the quality that we've got here. Um, but I think the underdogs is, is one of the things, and I think it will, it's doing us in good stead.